Hi, in this video, we'll learn how to solve simultaneous equations. The word simultaneous means happening or done at the same time. A set of simultaneous equations contain two variables, usually x and y. We need to solve the two equations and find x and y values that will make both equations true. An analogy could be that x and y are two keys that can open both doors, equation 1 and equation 2. There are two methods we can use to solve simultaneous equations. They are substitution method and elimination method. So let's look at substitution method first. If I label my equations as equation 1 and equation 2, I can rewrite the second equation as y in terms of x. So in other words, I can represent y using x. So if I take away 2x on both sides, Equation 2 becomes y is equal to 15 minus 2x. And if I substitute this equation into the first equation, I can write 3x minus 15 minus 2x equals 20. Notice I put 15 minus 2x in the brackets because this is the expression that represents y. And when I remove the brackets in calculation, the operation may change if there is a negative sign outside the bracket. And in this case, if I remove the bracket, um, all the signs will become the opposite. So 3x minus 15 plus 2x is equal to 20. Now let's collect like terms. Since I have 3x and 2x, Altogether, I have 5x minus 15 equals 20. And if I plus 15 on both sides, on the left-hand side, I'm left with 5x. And on the right-hand side, I have 20 plus 15, which is 35. So now my equation becomes 5x is equal to 35. To find x, I'm going to divide 5 to both sides. So 35 divided by 5 is equal to 7. So I found x is equal to 7. And I'm going to substitute this value back into the second equation to find my y value. So every time when I see x, I'm going to replace x with 7, since I know x is equal to 7 now. So 2 times 7 is uh, plus y is equal to 15. 2 times 7 equals 14, 14 plus y equals 15, and I can work out y is equal to 1. So using substitution method, I found that x is equal to 7 and y is equal to 1. So now let's look at the second method, which is elimination method. The steps are rewrite and eliminate and then solve the equation. Still, if I label my equations as equation 1 and equation 2, if I add the two equations, I can write 3x minus y equals 20 plus 2x plus y equals 15. Since they are two equations, so I need to treat them as, um, as two equations and only add the corresponding terms. So only add like terms, 3x plus 2x equals 5x and positive y plus negative y equals zero. So it'll give me zero y. So the y term is not gone. And the true constant terms 20 plus 15 equals 35. Now my equation becomes 5x plus zero y, which is zero, is equal to 35. And I can directly solve for x by dividing five on both sides. So x is equal to 35 divided by five, which is seven. Again, if I take um, x equals 7 back to the first equation, um, 3 times 7 minus y equals 20, and I can solve for y. So 3 times 7 equals 21, 21 minus y equals 20, and I can work out y is equal to 1. So it doesn't matter which method we use, we had the same answer. So x is equal to 7, and y is equal to 1. And in this question, it's probably easier to use elimination method. And in this case, we didn't have, we didn't have to rewrite the equation, but we'll see more complicated cases in the future. 
So I hope you find this video helpful and hope to see you in the next video. Bye!